What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the very next episode of We Fishing. Uh, today is actually the very next day after I went fishing, and I just wanted to record this after I didn't get a chance to uh, record an intro or outro. So I'm just going to do it right now. I am actually still reminiscing about yesterday. I had the most amazing time on the water. I finally was able to get back on the water by borrowing a friend's kayak. Uh, so I left my kayak about 14 hours drive away, basically a full day's drive. And uh, yeah, I had no way of getting on the water. The shorelines are completely packed due to COVID. So I'm so thankful to Chris from stringtheoryangling.com for helping me get back on the water. I appreciate it so, so much. I was excited for an entire week when he invited me to go fishing. <laughs> so make sure to check him out. That's stringtheoryangling.com. I'll put it, the link in the description below and you'll probably see it on the screen somewhere, probably down here. So stick around without further ado, let's get to fishing. Let's get back to fishing. All right, show me how this thing works. So, it's drive. You just pull this pin. Yeah. And then pull this to the side and then crank this down. Okay. And then you lock it back in place using yeah. that same pin? Yeah. Okay. That sounds simple enough. Yeah. And then you just pedal like a pedal bike yep. and, and steering. Steering's on the Steering's left. On the left. Okay. To deploy your rudder, you have to pull this cable. Okay, the it's top bit, cable. It's a bit stiff. Yeah, okay. Top. Oh, okay. Okay. Sounds simple enough. All right. Yeah. Let's get in the water, I guess. Yep. Pin back in. And then slide this thing through. I know that you just got that kayak anyways, but uh, you want to race? <laughs> I'll pull up right next to you. Okay. okay. I'm just going to take a turn here. I'm going to... I don't know where we would race to. Well, let's race to the corner. That, that corner? Yeah. Uh, to the other kayak? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready on three? Do you want me to count? Sure. One, two, <laughs> and start. Three, three. Oh, we want your rod. You're gonna get stuck in my wake. <laughs> yeah. That's actually really good for a big boat. Like, actually, you're. Are you taking off on me? Are you? I think you're taking off on me. <laughs> oh, this this thing's slipping. Why does it feel like it's slipping? I don't know. Oh no! No, no! It's Not moving! <laughs> Shit, for real! Huh? Oh, yeah, I know what happened. So the prop has slipped. Those nuts on the shaft. Oh, okay. <laughs> Should I just use a paddle for now? It's totally just loose on there now. Oh, yeah, it's moving around. Yeah. Well, we can go back and tighten. You have tools? Uh, I think so. <laughs> okay. So, oh, sorry, man. That's no, fine. These things happen. <laughs> Back to the old school method. Yeah. Like 60 feet and you broke it. <laughs> 60 feet. Oh, he's really taking off on me with the, the pedaling. All right, now we are actually off. He had to fix the prop on here. Okay, this is like actually one of the coolest experiences I have ever, ever had in a long time. There is like literally 15 kayak fishers on the water right now. And I am so lucky, so lucky to have a friend that was able to help me get on the water because it's been so long. Okay, so, so you got kayak fisher right there, right there, another one right there, one, two, three, four, five, another five right there. Got a couple hanging around over there. This lake is just packed with kayak fishermen. Right now I'm fishing on a slip bobber setup. 
tungsten jig and worm. Let's join this crowd over here. Chris testing out his uh, stability on his old town. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, I lost him. <laughs> okay, that right there was the first, very, very first fish. I've ever had tug on my line here. I've never caught anything here before. <laughs> okay, well, the worms are working. Right, here we go, here we go. Oh, you let go. Oh, there we go. A little perch? A little perch? Yeah, it's a little perch. This guy's my bait stealer right here. Nice. <laughs> that's awesome. First, <laughs> First fish out of a out of a pedal drive. That's not even mine. <laughs> there. There we go. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Finally, it is a trout, little guy. I'm just so glad I got something. I'm so happy. Oh, it is a monster. I need a net for this guy. I need a net for this guy. Oh, can barely fit in the net. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Should I paddle closer? Yep. <laughs> oh, that was an easy release. Finally, I caught a trout. It is. It's close to the city. It's honestly, you see that shoreline? That's what I've been fishing on. Oh, nice, beautiful. Oh, and a nice jump. <laughs> that guy got two feet in the air, airborne. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost as big as mine. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's it. The skunk's out of the boat. First fish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Congratulations on your first catch. There we go! Oh, this one's a good, better one. Nice. I don't like you <laughs> no, I still like you. <laughs> and this, this is an ultralight, so it, it looks like it's ten pounds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here you go. Beautiful. Beautiful little guy. Oh, and there he goes. 
There we go. What are you using? Uh, just worms and a tungsten. Tungsten like ice fishing jig. <laughs> Yeah, trout. You want some worms? I got lots. Uh, wait a couple minutes, see if this works. Yeah. Yeah, uh, using maggots. Oh, okay, yeah. Honestly, this one's faster. And this one's a drier rod. But... Yep. Y y yep. Oh, I got a perch. Oh, nice. Do we have double header? Oh, uh, that would have been nice. That's uh, a bigger perch, not enormous. But he's got a little bit of meat on him. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put him back in the water. Use my last worm. Yeah, so you gotta like. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Right now we're at the end of the video. So I thought I broke his kayak paddle drive. Not a big deal, cause you know what? You break it, you buy it. But yeah, unfortunately it wasn't broken. So I got a, some perch, some trout at a little small lake not too far from the city. As you can see on that shoreline, I don't know if you guys saw, it was packed. There was people on the dock, across the shoreline. It just wouldn't have been pleasant. So I'm excited to get back on the water again. Once again, don't forget to check out stringtheoryangling.com. Link is in the description right below. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, and we'll see you next time.